Hey guys, Kamina the coach here. Fourth take on this video. This one's going no matter what. So um, I just want to, without the long introduction, talk about where have I been, what's been going on, why haven't been, I've been posting any videos. Well, to be honest, there's not been anything really exciting going on. I've just been working through um, dark night of the soul. I've been kind of insulating myself as I return to what I know is the truth. And for me, it's very hard to return to myself when I expose myself to a lot of people, especially a lot of people who are stuck in negative patterning. So um, I have deep empathy for people who are surrounded by people and don't really have a choice. Um, I know a lot of my students in this region are kind of stuck in family homes, especially in homes with large families. So there's not really any way to insulate and they really just have to use the power of their mind to insulate and protect themselves. And I think that that takes a lot of um, energetic resources. I think it takes a lot of um, discipline and maturity to be able to Protect, protect yourself energetically while being physically surrounded by people. And I think that that it would be, for me, very emotionally overwhelming as a very introverted person. But who knows um, how I would have developed if in a family system like that, constantly surrounded by people. That hasn't been my experience. Nonetheless, um, so March of 2020, when I returned to the United States, um, due to COVID and started addressing really er, um, serious early childhood trauma and adoption trauma was a really hard time for me. March of 2020, uh, 2021, um, really starting trying to move into processing some of that trauma that I'd brought up to the surface. And I think that I um, did a really good job of that. However, it's not just me. It's it's um, it's a something that's happening globally, right, as we ascend in this whole ascension um, project, all humans, as our energies start to raise, we also start to raise all that stuff up that we need to process to let go of. And um, as it's happening as a collective, I definitely feeling it very deeply as a, as a very sensitive person. So I'm doing a lot of cocooning because as when I don't when I'm feeling like uh, maybe a little empty and not look, being able to look inside myself or not feeling strong enough to just say no to interactions with people. Um, then kind of feeling like um, I've allowed an open wound to be exposed to the air too soon. And opening myself up to infection, like literally opening up my presence, my consciousness up to infection. And of course, that's not sustainable. Isolation is not sustainable. We have to be around people. We have to interact with people. However, I think that um, for me, as I am returning to myself and I've been really um, disconnected from uh, the knowledge that, that there is no duality, that um, the source of all suffering is othering, being kind of um, stuck in this idea of duality. I think that that's a huge source of suffering for humanity and, and definitely for myself. And as I return to this and as I re am reprogramming my mind and my thought patterns and um, really becoming conscious again, that I've really had to just um, wall off and protect myself so that's why I haven't really been doing any videos. And that's why I've been doing my best not to really interact with people. And it's a real challenge inside of this bubble that I live in here in Baghdad, Iraq. I am working in a situation where we're not allowed outside and we can't move around freely. And it is very, very restrictive. It's good and bad. It gives me a lot of time um, when I'm not working to work on me. I haven't really had any time for that, honestly, while I've been here. It's been a very hard assignment. I've been working a lot while I've been here. And um, I've really neglected my um, self-care and allowed my mental health to erode to a place where I really need to isolate now, or at least I feel like I need to isolate now. 
And so that's what's been going on with me. I um, don't know. I'm, I'm sure that um, for those who follow my channel religiously, that some people will be able to understand and relate to what I'm feeling and what I'm going through. And um, I'm really aggressively kind of tackling it right now because I don't want to take my little gray cloud with me to Mexico. I want to um, to go be able to have a nice, fresh, clean start. But however, wherever you go, there you are. And if I can't find a way to have peace and comfort here where I am, then I know that I can't have that anywhere else either. And I've if I haven't learned anything else in my time of working and living abroad, I've learned that. Um, that no matter where I go, there I am. And if I can't find a way to be peaceful where I am, I'm not going to be peaceful anywhere else. I might It might be for a brief moment, but it's not going to last. So moving myself or waiting for the next thing is not going to give me peace. Always waiting for the next thing. I've got to find a way to find it, uh, nourish it, and live in it right now. So that's what I'm working on at the moment. I have just been, felt this uh, nagging feeling that I needed to do some kind of video check-in to let people know what's going on. My, my channel is still active and we will pick back up eventually. But for right now, that's what's going on with me. I definitely want to, I have an idea for a video that um, I kind of want to talk about some of the really unusual things or eye-opening, maybe shocking things that I've experienced abroad. But I kind of want to get out of the Middle East and get out of Asia before I do that, because a lot of those things relate to Asia. And um, yeah, we'll leave it at that. Anyways, that's what's going on with me. Um, if you're feeling these kind of weird um, energies of the earth, you're not alone. Um, self-care is everything taking care of yourself is everything eating well um, exercising moving your body taking care of your space um it's it's everything it's for us and very sensitive people and uh, i just wanted to check in with you guys and let you know that i'm okay hoping that you're okay um as we move into this winter season into this holiday send season sending you a uh, love light, peace, and joy. Until next time, I am Camina the Coach. I'm out. Peace.